In D.C. next week, speaking of the border, Department of Homeland Security Chief Alejandro Mayorkas will testify on Capitol Hill about Title 42. That's the public health order that is currently in place at the southern border that allows tens of thousands of people every month who have come across the border illegally to be deported. Axios reports that Mayorkas has privately told members of Congress he's concerned with the Biden administration's plans to lift Title 42 next month. If that happens, Katie, bar the door, you're talking about 500,000 people a month coming across the border. And as Julia said, there is a lot of moderate Democrats who are asking the White House to delay lifting Title 42 until, quote, there is a plan, which is the Washington translation until after the election. That is the backdrop tonight to this. Members of the Texas National Guard have paused their search for a missing soldier. The soldier likely drowned while trying to save a migrant from the Rio Grande River. This is new video from Eagle Pass, Texas. That's about an hour south of Del Rio, sort of halfway along the Texas border east-west. The soldier tried to save a woman who was struggling in the water. Local sheriff says the soldier dove in to save the woman but never came back up. You can see here, before he jumped in, he stripped off his flak jacket and his walkie-talkie and then risked his life to try to save a woman struggling in the Rio Grande. National Border Patrol Vice President John Anthonson joins us now. Uh, John, uh, appreciate you being here with us. I can only imagine um, that the more people who come across the border, the more of these really awful incidents uh, and the more of your agents and the more National Guardsmen are going to have to dive into the Rio Grande. Well, that's right. I mean, just so far in the past six months in Del Rio sector, we've had over a thousand rescues. But in those same six months, we had 15 drownings. And just in April alone, we've had over 11, not even counting this soldier who we unfortunately have not found yet. So at this point, as the numbers continue to increase, we know it's going to get worse because in April alone, we continue to continue to see more and more people cross. And already 11 immigrants drowning in the river somehow still isn't, de isn't demonstrated to the White House and DHS that this is truly a disaster on the border. Well, it, obviously, there's a lot of other stats that show it's a disaster as well. 221,000 people who came across uh, last month. Right. Uh, Secretary Americas is on Capitol Hill uh, next week. Uh, what would you ask him if you could? Well, he keeps insisting that they have a plan and that they've been working on it for months. But for whatever reason, that plan does not include telling us what the plan is. If, th if this is how things are going to be for the next two years, uh, I, I don't know how, we're, how the Border Patrol is going to survive this. Uh, but it, whatever their plan is, it has to be able to allow Border Patrol agents to return to the field to chase the people that are actively trying to get away from us. We've had over 300,000 gotaways in the past six months. Last year, we only had, I say only, but 400,000 in the whole year. We're almost there, and it's only halfway through the year. To be clear, there's sort of three sets of people, right? There's people who come across and either the Border Patrol catches or these people turn themselves into the Border Patrol. That's group one. Basket number two are the known gotaways, the 300,000 in the past six months. These are people who you all saw on sensors, you all saw uh, in chases and the like, but who, for whatever reason, there wasn't enough manpower to be able to get there. Uh, and catch these people. Then there's the unknown, unknown gotaways. Do we have any idea how many that number is? No, and that's a number that's always been elusive to us because if we're not there to actually see them cross right. or get away, there's no way to know that number. But if you look at some of the people that we have arrested, and you figure if you try, if you try and uh, take the proportion of, of the folks that have a criminal history and you expand that across the known gotaways, we have to assume there are a lot of people getting in who already have a significant criminal history in the United States. That's why they're running away. That's why they're not part of this group of asylum seekers who are turning themselves in. So we think about the number of people who turn themselves in. Um, at least the estimates we're hearing are 500,000 a month uh, that could be coming across if Title 42 is lifted uh, 31 days from today. Uh, how... Is there a ratio of, you double the number of people coming across from 221,000 to 500,000. It makes sense that if you don't have any more Border Patrol agents, uh, there's even more people who can get away. What is the ratio that you all are thinking that could end up being gotaways? Well, we see at this point roughly about half of who we're actually encountering 
are, have been amenable to Title 42, while the other half approximately are the ones being released into the country. So you figure we're now going to have to take into custody all of them that we are able to encounter. So we don't know what the numbers are going to look like, but already we don't have enough agents to patrol the border in large stretches. In fact, in this sector, there have been days where we've had no agents on patrol. We've only had agents doing transport duties, picking up these large groups from the river and taking them to our station. So it's hard to know how many we're going to look at, but it just based off what we're dealing with right now, we can't handle it. So the fact that it's going to get significantly worse double. is what scares us. Uh, rightfully so. Um, John, we appreciate you joining us, obviously, also for the work you and your men do. Uh, it, is a, it is a thankless job, but one for which a lot of Americans are really grateful for. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.